unfortunately it um, auto saves this game which is kind of nice um what are we doing here ah yes we kind of need the flame reaver to light these torches that will get rid of the water for us and now we can just push the button to get our thing i wonder what elemental power this could be the third fragment of the balance emblem endowed the reaver with the elemental power of lightning Lightning, you say? Such as the most powerful spell ever in the original Blood Omen? Nah, they wouldn't give us something ridiculously overpowered like that. Now would they? Also, there are new and burly variants of the shadows. And they run away once they uh, get hit a couple times. Oh, come on. Stop floating in the air, you freaking thing. It's not fair. Now, is it? That's what I thought. Also, that's not what I had intended to do. Oh, well. Whatever works, works, I guess. And we got ourselves a nice lightning. Yay! That should open up the path in the citadel for us. Anyway, one more thing to get here. And that should be on our way out, actually. Which is kind of nice, considering. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, more health for us. Look at the length of our health bar. It's nice. Also, we are gonna have a boss gauntlet, and that's what this entire episode is gonna be like. I know I'm gonna cut this off for, from the rest of the recording. So, yeah, consider this some sort of bonus episode. Where I fight a lot of a lots of golems that I can't avoid. And I'm quite sure this is gonna make another 20 minute episode. Hey you guy. Oh, you're already dead. Well I'll be waiting at the door then. nearly as strong as I had hoped. I've almost fallen off though, so yeah. <clears throat> oh well. The door has been opened. And more golems. Who the thunk it? This one are... Uh, uh, this one is actually quite the flat version of the golems. He has a fire shield around him, which he only lowers after he has shot three shots. The fire shield will retaliate with fire if you hit the guy. But doesn't do too much damage. So... You can completely ignore it if you want to. I don't, because it does too much damage in the long run. <clears throat> oh well. 
And spoilers, we're gonna have to fight more of them things. <sighs> they're annoying to fight, really. That's all they are. They just take a million hits and are not easily stun locked. Fun fact, by the way, if there's more of them, you have an easier time because they tend to hit each other by accident. <clears throat> Ow. And they do pretty massive damage to each other. That's kinda nice. <laughs> and the best thing is, when you hit them, sometimes they counter directly. Causing retaliation towards the guy who hit them in the first place. Ready, you foolish, foolish thing. Oh, come on. Be dead. Be nice and be dead. back to the water shrine. We need a bed. Do we need to go? I think that's a light shrine next, right? Bah. Camera, be nice. Oh, hey, who would have thunk it? Kinetic shackles. Kinetic shackles. Huh. This is kind of neat. Is there any anime to test this out on? No. No. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Kinda nice. I did get hit a couple times though, so... I'll have a nice meal before moving on. Thanks, buddy. No, get up that wall. I think that's the way to go anyway. I hope so. Ah, yes. And of course, more golems. And it's a fire spitting guys, and there's two of them. Ow. Can you like be not annoying? Ow. actually hit each other with the fireballs. And then the game crashed and I got to do this fight all over again. Fun times. Well, I got all my weapon level. I got 967, which is correct. So yeah, I didn't lose anything. 
other than the fact that we're getting trashed. And it's all your fault. And by you, I mean the golems, of course. Dang it. When there's two of them, they don't seem to lower their shields quite as much as they do when there's only one of them. Don't ask me why. Maybe because they are both accessing the same variable for lowering the shield or something? It's just a weird timer thing, I guess. Oh, of course! I didn't get my health back when I had to reload the game. Why am I not surprised? Now, ah, one down. Dang it. And now we are in much better shape. Yeah, yeah, you have a sword. Just lower your shield already. Feel free to die anytime. But maybe they did get their health saved in between the crash and the reloading. So that would have been kind of nice. Oh, well. Oh, no golems? You don't say. Which way are we going anyway? Is it here? It looks like here. Yes, it is here. Excellent. So all we have to do to end the chapter now is to well, jump back over the big hole. And get back to that locked door we saw earlier. Or rather in the last episode, considering this is just a boss gauntlet episode. Or golem gauntlet, whatever you prefer. Oh, by the way, I forgot a cutscene down there. This door was clearly significant. The answers I sought surely lay within. But to unlock the chamber, the balance emblem had to be fully restored. Well then, get to it, Kain. What are you waiting for? Oh, right. We still need part of the balance emblem, don't we? Let's have a little snack before ending the chapter. Why not? A new area of the Vampire Citadel lay open. I still had much to discover. Yep. And next time on Let's Play Legacy of Cain, so... Uh, defiance. <laughs> we get to do the funnest level in the game. Vorador's Mansion with Raziel. Nestled deep in the Black Forest, Vorador had once held court over a private kingdom, as decadent as it was depraved. Now, all was still. I hoped I had not arrived too late. Yeah, I hope so too. Anyway, I hope uh, you enjoyed today's episode, and the last one, and the one before that. This is Legion, and fare thee well.